Hey guys, Justin here and today I'm going to show you how I go ampless into a sound system using my pedal board. Now my pedal board is pretty big but I don't have to lug around an amplifier because I use a preamp pedal at the end of my chain as well as a cabinet simulator. Now with today's technology it's really easy to find and get a hold of really good pieces of gear that not just give you uh, a cabinet simulation like the Big Sky does. Uh, a lot of you guys have the Strymon Big Sky and, and that is a staple on most boards. But that doesn't have any pre-amp coloration. You need an amplifier pre-amp because you want the, your overdrives to interact with the amp circuitry in a certain way. I discovered this when I tried to integrate my CMAT mods Buta overdrive into my rig. This was the phenomenon. I plugged in the Buta into and played it through a conventional amplifier and it did its magic. There was, there was this underdrive, uh, this very light breakup that I was getting with the, the Buta into my normal Vox amp and it was magical and I really loved that sound. The problem I discovered was when I tried to go ampless, when I turned on the cap sim on my Big Sky and uh, turn and just used the Buta uh, straight to my, my interface without an amplifier in the, uh, the signal path. It sounded very weird. It just sounded like there was just a lot more volume, but but none of the uh, the, the light breakout magic that was happening with the Buta that I got playing through a normal amp. I discovered that the Buta works best when there is an amplifier circuit or an amplifier type of circuit somewhere along the chain. And in my case, I had a Moore Day Tripper lying around and it's one of those pedals that I recently picked up because I needed to go ampless uh, with my pedal train nano board and uh, you can check it out too on my Instagram page. The, my, my interceptor board, as I call it, has had the, uh, it used to have a, uh, a Moore Micro DI at the end of it and it was failing on me. So rather than getting the same pedal, I thought I'll try something new. My friend was selling a Moore Day Tripper and this pedal rocks. Like when I record my Vox AC TV, I have AC4 TV, and I record that amp and I AB it with the sounds I get from the Moore Micro, uh, excuse me, with the Moore Day Tripper. It sounds incredible. Like there's, there's, there are differences, of course, but as far as mixing it into uh, the context of a full band, it really sounds like I'm playing through an amplifier. So, how do you go ampless? You need a preamp type pedal and you need a cabinet simulation pedal. These two things will get you a nice clean sound. Now, if you're using the Mua Day Tripper uh, or any other of the pedals in that kind of series, you are essentially getting two pedals in one. The Day Tripper has both a preamp and a cap sim that you can turn on or off. The next challenge to overcome is how do you get overdrive sounds out of a essentially clean rig? You're gonna need overdrives, and in my experience, you need a couple, at least two overdrives to stack so that you can get a lightly broken up sound, and then you can stack that uh, underneath something uh, like a heavier overdrive, like a medium to heavy overdrive. The light overdrive sound is important because we are all primed to hear that sort of slightly broken up amp sound in recordings from all over the place. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment box below. I'd love to connect with you. And please consider following me on Instagram so that you can catch more of my videos in the days to come. Thanks for watching. This is Justin signing off.